yes, it is a kitten video, and yes, we are talking about the science behind it. Because it's not just cute. This is an ounce of insight into the energy management of cold and warm-blooded organisms. <laughs> Kitten here's no King Kong, and these bearded lizards certainly aren't Godzilla, but their less than climactic encounter underscores some of the major differences between Team Warm Blood and Team Cold Blood. Let's talk about mammals. We have mammary glands to pump our young full of nutritious milk. We have furry coats and a warm blooded system that keeps us running at a constant temperature regardless of what the environment's doing. So we can remain active for long periods, super alert to threats posed by alien floor creatures. But being an endotherm is far from a cakewalk. Our regulated temperatures come at a steep energy price. It's like maintaining a constant 70 degree temperature in a fancy office building. So we're constantly eating, and eating, and eating. Meanwhile, cold-blooded animals, ectotherms, enjoy improved energy efficiency because they don't have to burn off stored energy to maintain their body temperatures, and they can survive longer periods without food. So our bearded lizard friends here literally keep their cool while kitten flips its lid. They conserve their energy, saving their burst for when it's absolutely necessary, but they're always at the mercy of environmental temperature. Cold air means slow muscles and even a slower immune system. Your body regulates its own heat at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius while ectotherms use their environment to regulate temperature like say a lizard warming itself in the sun and this drastically limits where ectotherms can live. If you visit a temperate enough region such as say Hawaii you'll find plenty of ectothermic houses where people manage just fine without artificial heating and air conditioning. They simply roll with the limited changes in environmental temperature. Of course they may also get wall lizards from time to time. Clearly that's not a problem in Siberia. So are you still a proud member of team warm blood or do you think you'd like to give team cold blood let it try. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.